Hi everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Lightroom and Photoshop tutorial. Here's the image that I have already edited and made it really beautiful and stunning to look at. Just you can hang it on your, your wall or something, make it as a posture. So it is uh, that is how it is looking, a beautiful sunset on the mountains and there is lush green, lots of plants and trees and uh, a lot of agriculture going on here. Along with that you have this concrete road as well. It really blends uh, the eyes of the viewer inside the picture so here's the original picture original image that i took with the canon 80d at these settings you can see the settings here and this is how the image looked at while i was taking but you can do as you want and i think i really like this kind of feel that we get some sunset golden color glow because that's uh, what was going on there the golden hour after around six o'clock i i think so here's how it looked and that is how we are going to make this picture so in order to do that first thing we need to uh, make adjustment is the crop so here's the r button you can press the shortcut key for uh, crop uh, selection so here's that crop tool you press on that and you'll get this uh, uh, sort of a cropped already cropped uh, selection area so what you can do is to change this perspective you can uh, go over here and you can use the following presets uh, whatever you like for now we are selecting 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and once you have done that make sure you, the picture is horizontally aligned so here's the horizontal align and um, uh, here we are following the uh, rule of third that means that uh, uh, whoever watches this image we have to drag them to certain parts of the area where it makes them look exciting or uh, some something emotional attached to the image so that's what the, we are going to give uh, the viewer so here's how i select the crop i make sure everything is straight and proper uh, so even if there is a little bit of tilt we can adjust it later just double tap on it or double click on it so here is the image for us in the 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and as you can see the color white balance uh, there is a little bit of clipping on the magenta area here we shall uh, rectify everything properly so here's my workflow and how i work with this kind of picture every time so the first thing you are going to increase is the shadow yeah, as you can see there's a lot of black thing here and not visible properly we will boost the shadow uh, like this and we will bring down the highlights because we need more detail over here from here so that's why we need to reduce the highlights otherwise it will be blown out that's uh, we don't want to blown out everything so we will bring down the highlights and increase the shadows and now what you want to do is to hold down the alt button on your keyboard and start increasing the white because white is a little bit on the less side inside the picture so you want to bring uh, the whiteness so that everything is properly exposed as you can see the more uh, I increase the whiteness uh, it, it will show the area where it is getting too much blown out so what you can do is to little bit let it blow and leave to that as you can see now the mountain area is properly in detail and uh, stuff like that and then you again hold the alt button on your keyboard and just uh, reduce the black so that everything is not blown out uh, everything is looking properly so here the shadows as you can see the blacks are a little bit on the black side we will leave just to that uh, now as if uh, the light was not falling on these areas so you want to show it like that because you want to create a natural element inside the picture and not too muchly uh, done so we would, uh, let's increase the clarity a bit and i will boost the vibrance a lot so that we get greens more green uh, the orange color more orange and the mountains blue color more blue so that's how you get the vibrance if you increase the saturation the color of the individual elements will be very much uh, increase and it will uh, cause a lot of like infringement ghosting effect and it will look more done uh, than not so we shall increase a little bit of light and uh, a little bit of highlight here and we will bring down the darkness so we shall little bit increase the shadows now what uh, you want to do is uh, now look at the magic how this gets uh, uh, beautifully done so you want to select this graduated filter i'll select the graduated filter and i will uh, make sure that i have uh, uh, selected the temperature value because that is what we will be uh, changing over here and i'll bring the temperature from here graduated filter 
this way so that on the mountains and on the road here everything is uh, lit properly as uh, I think so we shall increase a little bit of blue and uh, from here we will get the golden or uh, lighting so we have the blue sky as well you can increase a little bit of magenta so that it looks really nice in the cloudy region uh, I will also increase a little bit dehaze so that we get darker and uh, properly detailed clouds increase a little bit of clarity so here is where we are and after you have done this we shall take this radial filter here you can use the shift M you, as you can see that it really shows me what shortcut keys are in order to select so if you keep practicing you can uh, do it very easily we shall uh, bring the uh, sunset very nicely so uh, I'll just drag this radial filter here rotate it and make it look natural here you have to invert so that only inside the circle what we want to change is affected not outside the circle so just invert it and boost the feather to about 90 percent then what we want to do here is to see as you can see because i had selected temperature previously so it has uh, already increased the temperature to warmth so by default it will do as uh, it want and you can later change it just what uh, that is what i'm doing here so if you if you bring down to blue see how fake it looks and how unnatural it looks so we want to bring that glow from the sun just to this much you can a little bit bring down the highlight so that we get the star streaks properly here and I will also increase the contrast bring down the exposure a little bit and we will also increase the clarity here all right so this is uh, where we are now and if i zoom in here as you can see there is a little bit of noise and a uh, little bit of color infringement going on here to reduce that to remove that what you want to do is uh, if you have captured the image in the raw there will be option here to increase the noise reduction first we will increase that and if you have captured the image in raw you will you can remove the chromatic aberrations and you can even correct the perspectiveness and the distortion thing from enabling this profile correction see it chooses the camera lens automatically and by default it corrects the perspective and the distortion and even there is no vignetting here so this is how uh, the properly lit image looks and uh, now uh, since the exposure is a little bit on the uh, more side I think you can little bit reduce the exposure like this and you can even reduce or increase the contrast to make it really hard impact on the uh, concrete surface here uh, so here's where we have uh, and uh, to remove this noise what you can also do is now you can see since I remove the chromatic aberration there is no infringement and aberrations uh, at all on the trees here so if there is a lot of noise what you can do is to uh, take this brush tool from here and I will uh, choose the clarity and I will reduce the clarity and sharpness and you can just brush it over here so that the noise gets reduced and it looks really good the clouds look soft and a uh, little bit dramatic as well now you can zoom in see there is uh, no not a lot of noise as it was previously now if you think the road side is too much again you can uh, use the R button or take the crop overlay and uh, just reduce a little bit here and double click on it now we have this beautiful image now what I want to do also is now as you can see there is a glare here I want to remove that you can use the spot uh, removal here just select the brush size from here and once you select the brush size you can just uh, press on it click on it and it will select automatically the appropriate area it thinks and you can remove these spots like this very quickly so once we have done this uh, as you can see the original image is like this and how we have changed that image to a beautiful looking image uh, which I showed you earlier this was the image I created but now even more uh, vibrant image we have created if you think that this warm color is too much you can actually reduce the temperature you can again select this uh, radial filter you just uh, click on this and uh, just slightly reduce the warm temperature and it looks quite natural now so this is how uh, I work 
with this kind of image i hope uh, this tutorial was helpful and gave you insight on how i work uh, so please like the video and stay tuned and stay subscribed if you want more tutorials you can also leave a comment on what you are looking for so that i can make a tutorial video for you i hope this was useful thanks so much for watching see you all in the next tutorial till then take care bye bye